So, if you remember back in February, I, if you look at one of my first videos, it was on a table, and it had like the pool station, the BG12, and the the same alarm. Don't think that that came as serious. I know it said fire alarm test one, but I should have said I got my fire alarm working. This is like demonstration, but no. So I I don't know why I said it was fire alarm test one. So because it's not going to be test two. I didn't want to start that up. So this is going to be more like a testing station type thing. Um. So. You know, you got like your key test switch here, you know, flip down to activate, flip up to reset. And how, if you're curious how I wired this, it's just like wiring a pool station to a fire alarm, but yet using a light switch. I don't want to give a tutorial because it's basically the same thing. If you type in on YouTube, I don't do fire alarm tutorials of how to wire stuff, but, um... I know SER Safety has one, Fire Alarm um, Person has one, almost everyone has a tutorial of how to wire a pool station to a fire alarm. Basically, just follow what they're doing, but use it with a light switch. Um, so this is the back. I put a piece of tape over it so the wire didn't come loose. I actually finally fixed this brown wire yesterday. And... Um, so yeah, this is mostly going to be like a demonstration, like test of certain alarms. Um, I'm hoping if I get a new alarm that I'll make another system like downstairs or down in the porch, you know, with the EST Genesis. Um, I'm hoping to actually put one up here, maybe a mini one. It's not going to be for a long time, but another one and I'll just change out the alarm there I'm not changing my genesis ever so anyway uh with all this in mind I figured we could do a test so we have our light switch we have our alarm now the this wire is really really short but the adapter wire is really long so let's follow where our adapter wire is going so it's all the way up here up here Told you it was very long. I just need a longer wire. Uh, and here you got your power supply. And that goes to your notification appliance. Or fire alarm. Whatever you decide to call it. Um, it's only for indoor use. And believe it or not, this is actually an old one. It's an Atari. I'm surprised that it still works. Because our Atari is very, very old. It doesn't even exist. So it's basically um, 9 volts uh, DC, and um, people say that DC or AC it won't work, but my run, my one downstairs runs on AC 9 volts, and it does perfectly fine. So I don't, I don't see why not. Like, uh. You could just do, like, any adapter, really, to wire it up. But I recommend 9 volts because that's the safest without frying your alarm and also shocking yourself. So I do recommend just 5 volts only. 5 volts is enough. Okay. So, without further ado, let's plug it into the wall. Now we got the power flowing. So, I did change the tune to this, so, um, I'll show you all the tunes, but I did change it just for this test. Ready? Three, two, one. Wow, and I don't even have ear ear product uh, ear protection on. It's very loud. 
All right, so I figured we can test the other tone, and then we'll end the video. Be right back. Now this, all right, so this actually has problems changing tones, so it might not do the third tune because it's really cheap. Um, very cheap alarm. Sixteen bucks. I mean, for the website that I bought it off, this is a really cheap deal, and you can already tell that it's not professional by the way it looks by the way it, the strobe does it uh, flashes and the way that the speaker is and i've done review i don't need to do a whole explaining of how it's cheap so if you look at my review too and my system sensor spectacular rip off then you'll see what i mean on there um so let's go and it's actually less loud I forget um again the whole thing is mixed up but I assume that the one the zero one this is actually 120 uh, but I don't believe that actually I think that the one that goes woo 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 it's probably the 121 and then this one's probably 119 and the last one that it obviously does not want to do is 110 um, for volume so not for volume but you know for like how loud it is um, but again the jumpers are all switched up so it's they're not in the proper spots so Let's go. Let's test it in the dark. Um, so that is the two of the tunes. And let me see. I'm going to try and switch the jumper. I doubt that it's going to work, but we'll see if it does the third one for us. But it's probably going to be like a 5% chance it will. So be right back. Stupid thing does not want to go on the uh, third tune. So I figured just to end this video, we'll just manually code it. Because it doesn't want to do it. So... And I never actually manually coded this one before, and it won't ever code, but um, this is the easiest way you can possibly code a fire alarm. So, ready? Try it in the dark. One more time and continuous. Alright, there goes our video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and hope you enjoyed the fire alarm, uh, my little fire alarm thing that I made. Thank you. And also subscribe, uh, for some more videos as well. Thank you. Bye.